Good evening and welcome to War Thunder's website. I am Old Dead Man. We've got yet another dev blog today. There's been a lot of news in War Thunder. We've got the uh, the Bradley was announced today. We've got the teaser trailer, which showed some interesting uh, tanks and planes uh, all together in that uh, the 41 seconds of it. And we've gotten the Battle Pass news telling us what the latest details on it are. But we've also got the uh, a, a ship coming our way for the German Navy. Let's take a look at what we have. The SMS Kaiser was a 92-gun wooden ship of the line of the Austrian Navy, the last vessel of the type, and the only screw-driven... No? The SMS Kaiser was the lead ship of the Kaiser-class ironclad... No? Uh, hey, hang on a second. The SMS Kaiser was the lead ship of the Kaiser class of battleships. Okay. Yes. Okay. The SMS Kaiser was the lead ship of the Kaiser class of battleships of the Imperial German Navy. She was laid down in 1909, hull completed in and launched on the Kaiser Wilhelm's the first birthday in 1911 and fitted out by 1912. She was then commissioned and post sea trials became the flagship of 5th Division. She was stationed in Kiel, then transferred to Wilhelmshaven in February 1913. She and her sister ship Koenig Albert and the cruiser Strasbourg then went on a 20,000 nautical mile cruise to Africa, South America, then back to Germany via Spain. This trip was to test the new turbine propulsion system. The Kaiser participated in World War I, including operations such as the raid on Scarborough, Hartlepool and Whitby, and the raid on the English coast. The pre-dreadnought Hanover collided with the Kaiser in port at Kiel, but neither ship was significantly damaged. He also participated in the famous Battle of Jutland, taking part in sinking the British destroyer Nomad and the cruiser Defense. She received damage from heavy caliber shells, likely from the HMS Agincourt, though the damage was largely insignificant with only one crew member wounded. After periodic maintenance in 1917, the SMS Kaiser was dispatched as part of Operation Albion where she bombarded Russian shore positions and captured the destroyer Grom, which foundered while under tow. The battleship participated in several more assignments, but in 1917 was scuttled by her crew while waiting at Scapa Flow for the final peace treaty. She was raised in 1929 and broken up for scrap in 1930. The SMS Kaiser weighed in at 24,724 tons normal displacement and 27,000 tons full load. She was 172.4 meters long, 29 meters abeam with a draft of 9.1 meters. She was powered by 16 water tube boilers feeding three steam turbines into three screw propellers, which gave her a maximum speed of 23.4 knots and a range of 7,900 nautical miles. 41 officers and 1,043 enlisted men crewed this vessel. Her armaments included 10 305mm guns, 14 150mm guns, 12 88mm guns, and 5 500mm submerged torpedo tubes. She was protected by 350mm of belt armor, 400mm on her conning tower, and 300mm on her turrets. In War Thunder, the SMS Kaiser will join the German naval tree at rank 5. She will sport her entire crew complement of 1,084 sailors, a 23.4 knot top speed and a near entire lack of AA protection, typical of World War I vessels. So this is another big boy for the German naval tree. What do you think about it? Have you seen the trailer yet? Have you? And tell me what you think about that when you do. Uh, that's everything for now. We'll get some more uh, videos for you for the other aspects of today's announcements uh, coming up this evening. And you have a great rest of your night. See you in War Thunder. In War Thunder, the SMS Kaiser will join the Nerve... Nerve. Nerman. The Nerman Naval Tree. Right, right. Okay. <clears throat>